All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there uh, for another edition of Esper Legends. Uh, we played this deck one time um, on a Sunday where we played a whole bunch of Legends decks and it worked out pretty well. I liked having Dyas, or Dovins and Kayas together. It was uh, pretty fun. Um, I'm making one big change. I'm adding in four Thought Erasure into the deck. Uh, we didn't have those before. We just had even more uh, four and five mana cards, so ended up cutting some cool legends um, from the deck, like Josu Vest. I took out one Izareth, took out a Josu Vest, took out um, the five mana vampire that's a 4-4 four, four that can pay seven life to kill stuff. Uh, that card, and one Vile Offering. I had three Vile Offerings. So kind of trimmed, trimmed some of the, like some top end and stuff and just added in some more two two mana cards, added in some Thought Erasures. Sideboard, I put in a bunch of Thief of Sanities because that card's good against stuff. So put a put in a bunch of those uh, for whenever we are taking out the Urza's Ruinous Blasts um, against Control and against Nexus. Uh, then I'm just going to rest, negate Thief of Sanity. That's my sideboard plan um, in those matchups. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah. Let's let's get going. Esper Legends. So the main reason why we're playing all these legends, um, if you're not too familiar with the legends decks, are because of the legendary sorceries. So we have Urza's Ruinous Blast and Yogmoth's Vile Offering in this deck for our legendary sorceries. It will be mostly playing, but we do have the one of Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, which is quite glorious if we ever get to fire that one off. Um, let's go ahead and keep this hand. I, I think we're going to draw a blue mana source and get this. Have Search for Iskanta. I'm feeling it. We're on the draw, so we got two draws. Ooh, that was not it. Next one's going to be it. Chromium's okay. See, told y'all. I was feeling it. Chromium's good against control decks. It's, you know, fine against control decks at least, and so that's why we got that in there. I would like to keep that land, please. Um, the it's it's a green juice. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Nothing phases me. All right. I'm really good at banishing. Um, things. I don't know, like green goodness or mean green who knows something like that be gone no I haven't done a team or legends um wow our opponent did not do anything like actual nothing. Is this just like is it Drakes that they just they just kept a whole bunch of crackling Drakes and just didn't draw any of them? So like if they're if they're Drakes I want Ruinous Blast. If they're not Drakes, if they're like control, I don't want Ruinous Blast. Like this could be Grix's control that had, you know, like a bunch of black spells that they couldn't cast. So them conceding so early, we don't actually know what they're doing. Um, <laughs> meme green. What's a, a clapper board? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jurassic could be a safe thing to board in. Either way, um, what what's not good against either of those decks? I guess that's what I'm kind of looking um, of like what to take out. I mean, we probably don't need like Izareth, Rona. Um, in this matchup, not sure. I love Shalai. See, like, cast down could be good or it could be terrible, depending on which one they are. Kind of want to just run it back. Uh, 
I'm just gonna run it back. I play Duress and Negate, and I play those cards a lot in other decks. I don't play these legendary cards too often. I kind of want to just play them again. Yeah, that's true. If it's Drake's, it's pretty unlikely it is Grixis. I was going to say, if it is Drake's, it's pretty unlikely that they had nothing to do with three mana. So, yep, looks like it is Grixis. Maybe I should have... Um, should have at least taken out the cast downs, I guess, but... Thankfully, our opponent does have Hostage Taker. That gets cast downed. Oh, that's a lot of disinformation campaigns. Um... I'm going to take the Contempt that they'll have. By I'm impressed fired anyone by would be so assault. foolish as to face me. Alright, make another one of these. By a good assault. It's like really whether I want to play Lazav or be able to discard Lazav. Let's play it. Alright, I'm going to keep the land on top. So that if they play a campaign, I can just discard this land and we got the next land. I mean, I could just discard Ruinous Blast as well, but at this point... Because even though Ruinous Blast is good against, um, it is Not good against the campaigns, gadget, but ingenuity. it takes out our 1-1s one -ones that we kind of need. No, that was Esper. Um, that was an Esper deck that we were 10-0 with. All right. Nope. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. All right, let's get this Dovin up on ultimate. Oh, I guess they just get to take the Izerath and hit Dovin, so Dovin does an ultimate. Your crew for my freedom. But then we'll just kill a fair price. We'll kill Angrath. Yeah, but Grixis discard is is probably our best performing deck. It's probably my most out of like my brews. I think Grixis discard is probably the most um, competitive. Um, I think it, like if I would play it in a tournament trying to to win the tournament, I think the Grixis discard deck is what I would be playing. I'd, of course, want some more practice with it. There's a, a couple sideboard slots I'm not so sure of. Um, but it's it's a good deck. So we got that coming up here next. What? Oh. Hmm. Bully well, this was you. probably bad by me. I don't know why I was thinking I just mixed up these abilities. I was thinking Izareth's ability was like Lazav's, that they were just gonna be copying the hostage taker, not like, you know, get it back. I messed that up. I've weathered tougher storms than you. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. You're not entirely incompetent.
This is no mere trinket. Tag. So I can turn my Lazav into an Izareth. The problem is whenever they this third chapter of Elder Shaborn getting to Fairy is like the the real thing that I'm scared of right about now. I think this should this should kill the hostage taker like an, an exile like completely. As far as I know, because right, like, doesn't this corpse if counter thing exile? Best, yeah, if it leave the battle worry. battlefield, exile it. Oh, that's a good draw, real good draw. Let's slow this down. Yeah, let's just get this Elder born out of here. Reverse. I stand on the shoulders of giants. So I can attack with Izareth. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I can pay three and put another Izareth into play. Um, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. They're legendary. Oh, wait, I can't even pay the mana anyway. So, so in a lot of ways it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, main deck Thieves Sandy is kind of tough, honestly. Um, I think there can be a good shell for main deck Thieves Sandy. I think, I think probably Sultai with Find Finality um, and everything that I think probably Sultai is the best shell for main deck Thieves Sanity. I think, I think it pairs well with green, and and that you also have like the, you have the random games that you. Um not just a gadget, but uh, you have the random games where you can have like turn one land war elf, turn turn two Thieva Sanity, even though it doesn't help a whole or doesn't uh happen a whole lot. You can have those games. Uh, War of the Spark will absolutely be on Arena, yes. Oh right, Lazav keeps his name, so I could have just I could bring in the the right. I I can bring in Izareth because it keeps its name. So I have not mastered these interactions between Lazav and Izareth yet. Uh, early in the day, that's what I'm I'm going to blame it on that. If you heard that War of the Spark won't come to Arena, you heard wrong. The Arena release date is April 25th. Certainly could just take that and then be able to hit, you know, attack back at him. Ooh. Uh, that only gets to Fairy and Izareth right now. I'm inspired by a good assault. Oh well. Sorry, We're doing it. Late. If I would have just taken it, we would have hit for lethal here with having the Teferi. Yeah, it's worth it because yeah, the the reborn would just dis make us discard it, so there's there's not a reason to keep it. Look at that. Izareth and Lazav were be were clutch with us winning that. Especially Lazav. I mean Lazav copied Izareth. Really Lazav did kinda all of that stuff. Lazav was was awesome for us.
All right, I think I'll keep this. We got good lands. We got Lyra. Lyra wins games against a lot of decks. There's a lot of decks that we may not do very good against. Hey, what's up, Kalua King? Happy Tuesday. So, yeah, um, so yeah, just like G-Grab said right there, Modern Horizons is a set that's coming out soon that will not be on Arena because it's specifically for Modern. It's not legal and standard. Um, Arena is, is the cards that are legal and standard and everything are on Arena. Modern is not on Arena. Ugh. One turn too late here. Vanifar and Moldratha. Both those cards will be pretty hard to beat. Um, we're going to take the Vanifar. Uh, keeping the land on top because our opponent's going to hit us with Thiva Sanity, so I want them to have the land. So unfortunately, both Moldratha and um, Rootbound Crag. No, Malira. No. I say both of those are legendary, where they they won't get removed by Urza's Ruinous Blast. Dang, I really need that Lyra. Ugh. Looks like we're dead now. <laughs> Problem is, well, Paper Magic has been around for over 25 years now, and having every single card that's in Paper Magic on Arena when Arena is brand new and still in beta is just not realistic. That's what Magic Online is there. Magic Online has all those formats and everything. Um, Arena's a new thing that's just focusing on standard. So Blast is really great against... Uh, and if we could have just played the... You know, if, if our opponent did not find Thought Erasure, we were looking great there. We get to play Lyra. Lyra stabilizes. We then Urza's Ruinous Blast and exile all their... Permanence besides Moldratha, basically. <clears throat> we were looking really good there until them hitting Thought Erasure. Yeah, there are hundred, hundreds of thousands of magic cards. And who, who knows, maybe in the future all the other sets will be, you know, added to Arena in the future. But it's just not announced to be added right now. <clears throat> so... I want more Urza's Ruinous Blast. Let me go with three. I, I kind of like all the cards we have here, though. I'm going to trim the Rona. Alright, so Isolate Chapel is not coming into play uh, untapped. Yeah, 
yeah, the Modern Horizons product is just a supplemental product. Um, it's not like one of the main releases or anything. It it, it not being on Arena is, is you know not a surprise or anything. It's just like making like a uh, commander a commander product or anything like that. Like it, there's there's it's nothing wrong with that not being on Arena. There's nothing for it to do on Arena. There would be no use for the product. Like the the cards you can't play and like yeah there's nothing nothing for the for it to do i kind of want to cast down this land war elf i'll just fire these off so i can take vanifar with one crasis with the other we're in the wilds something i'm not too worried about because we have you know, Blast will exile Rhythm of the Wild. Also. Um, I guess I'm taking Moldrotha. I have a cast down that can kill Krasis or we can blast it. I probably need to just cast down this Incubation Druid to make this Crasis a lot smaller, though. Um, they also don't have blue mana. I guess that's a thing. <laughs> the boys are... Arrives the stream, first thing I see is Runa's Blast. Like the deck already. Heck yeah. Alright, so they got their blue man on time. Get this Krasis. Ooh. Um, let's just do this first. Oh right, it's an instant. I could wait, but maybe they have counter magic. I don't hate not waiting. Get getting rid of that land war off and everything. So I could. No, now I can't cast this. So if I get Moldrotha, Moldrotha can only just get the watery grave for me. I could grab the hostage taker now. Oh no! A harpooner? That's annoying. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have waited on the Urza's Ruinous Blast, uh, but again, like, we don't know if they would have had, like, a, a counter spell or anything. I, I don't, I just don't mind getting all those things out of there. I think it was a, a fine time to Urza's Ruinous Blast. But I know it could have been instant speed. I don't have a creature or a planeswalker. I don't have it I don't have anything to turn that on. Um If I play Karn, they just kill Karn, six power on the battlefield. Maybe yours, but I'll make an exception for you. But now I can let them kill Dovin, and now this one one can protect Karn. This outcome surprises even me. Evil must not be tolerated. Hmm. Good minus two. Nah. Hmm. I'll make use of that later. Yeah, 
Yeah, with like having the Teferi on top of the deck, it does kind of make me want to minus two to make sure I draw the Teferi. But th the thing is, is if I minus two, I'm like the the other things blocking the Jade Light Ranger. I want. Give me this Teferi back. This will aid us. All right, I want their hostage taker. Wait, I guess I start having like a good amount of things I can play with Moldratha. Yeah, I guess I'll take Moldratha actually. So actually, never mind. I'll actually kill the. I wasn't. I wasn't planning on killing the Raf. I was planning on like hostage takering the Raf, so I could have it. Uh, cast as land. It's so awkward. Cast as planeswalker. Dude, Muldratha in Esper Legends been analyzed and is pretty spicy. Wanting. You're doing me a favor. Yeah, Muldratha is sick in our deck. Mm. That's messed up. Oh well, they just kill our Planeswalker, but we just recast it. Because Muldroth is cool. <laughs> Screw Esper Legends run 5 color legends. <laughs> Let's go 4 color, get Muldroth in there. I don't like it, but I accept defeat. Um, all right, playing this thing. I hurry. The choices we make reveal who we are. Cast that down. No attacks. Oh, I can only do this during my turn? Dang it. I can't actually instant speed Raph on their turn. Right, because I can only do that during my turn. Alright, so their deck's pretty cool. So how good Urza's Ruinous Blast was there. Um, they played... They were playing multiple Kral Harpooners. Which is annoying. Kral Harpooner certainly makes Dovin worse. Dovin's not even that great to begin with. Oh well. Let's run back. We could have, I mean, I would, the best thing is, because it's my turn, I could have just cast down and uh, untap my lands and play the, play the Rafka Passion on Unstep. I mean, I guess that uses more mana than Dovin, but yeah, I could have had Dovin or, could have had either of those. Um, I mean, where we're at, it didn't really matter. We still had Search for Escanta activation, even though I passed like that. Oh yeah, this is some spicy. This is a spicy list. Legends X are sweet. All right, one and one. And our opponent's deck is really cool too. Let's have some good games of magic here. The first two games. Uh, 
Uh, I did not want to draw search number two. Whoops. I just realized I was... I was writing Naya Legends instead of Naya Huatli for the deck we played last round. Um... Naya Huatli. So, cast downing either of those, I don't think make a ton of sense. They just have some really good cast down targets. That's, that's an okay card. I don't find it Anyone would be so foolish but as make to an face me. For you. Oh, poor opponent. Man, we had some real good games there. The the first two. It's really the second game. The second game was awesome. The first and third games were kind of lame. Yeah, our opponent's probably missing that blue mana. But still, they could have fought it out a little longer. If we hit land drops, we're good. We're a 26 land deck, and we're on the draw. We have 3, 4, 5. Pretty decent curve. It's a good first draw. For us, it's a bad first card to see for the opponent. Our hand is slow. It's a bad second draw for us. And it was even a worse second turn for us, for the opponent's side, having Curious Obsession. So that second turn couldn't have gone any worse for us. Another non land. Maybe they don't have any counter spells. Nope, they had counter spells. Okay. Let's try again. So, Mono Blue is a matchup where we need. All these duresses and negates. All these lame cards. Um, Lazav, Izareth, Rona. Come on out. I mean, Ruinous Blast is amazing if we get to fire fire it off. Uh, Vile Offering is going to come on out. So is Rebirth. Um, so this is 61. Teferi is not amazing. So that's 60. I mean, Karn's not that good either. I guess Teferi's probably better than Karn. So I'm going with this just because we have so many fives. Yeah, honestly, maybe Chromium. Chromium can't be countered. It does cost so much mana. 
but it's not bad. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like Raph. All creatures over here. Dubs, Terramander. Trickster and Jin. Yeah, it depends on the, the deck if I want Thief or not. Um, I don't think I want it this time with with my Urza's Ruinous Blast and stuff. Um, that's a tough card to, to bottom, honestly. To, to get rid of in the graveyard, honestly, the Teferi. It's just... Certainly a card out one in like where we're at right now. Now I wish I would have got rid of the raff earlier. Of course, even if they don't have a counter spell, they have the trickster. I'm just playing that underneath the counter spell. Hoping to get the land so I could blast away all their creatures. But we didn't get there. <laughs> Alright, but that's a shock land. We'll get rid of that because now we're transforming as Kanta. I don't want to be auto passing. Okay. Well, I mean, I just respond to this anyway. Tapped out. Instant speed wrath. Thanks for tapping out. Double counter. They do. So they had a counter spell when they tapped out. They didn't need to tap out. They did. They were not expecting the instant speed counter spell. Or sorry, the instant speed wrath. It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. Of course, we can instant speed planeswalkers, but you know we want to be able to activate them. So, hey, <laughs> playing this deck as well, and just instant speed Runes blasted in Azorius Aggro Flares board. Nice. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. And we get another one in there. It's just kind of hard to have the legend in play. 
uh, in this matchup because you know like you had to have like you had to already resolve a creature or a planeswalker and untap with it and then be able to blast. It's it's kind of tough. Um, so I'm only going with the two. Three or four lands. Four lands. We'll take it. Thought Razor cast down. Good cards. Pretty good opener for us. No one drop curse into Curious Obsession. Yeah, Quip and Movement are two sponsors. Um. So movement makes watches and sunglasses. You can see like this is a movement watch. It's really nice. Um, and quip make uh, toothbrushes. So if you go through, if you'd like to help support the stream and purchase either of their products, you get a free donation deck. Do I want to make sure I can pay for spell pierce? I suppose. You get a free donation deck and plus whenever every 10 that we have sign up, we're doing a 12 hour stream. So yesterday we got uh, we got to our 10th person signing up for Quip. That's why we're doing a 12 hour stream on Thursday. And so we're, we're going towards our next goal there with Quip. Hmm. A reasonable card. We can do better though. That's why I got rid of Shalai. Because it, sh you know, like their creatures are like 4 4s and 5 5s here uh, with their flyers. They can just get outclassed. Like Shalai just kind of gets outclassed. We're at 6 right now. So now I think this next turn end step, I'll go ahead and throw in Raph and then try to untap and Kaya. Oh, that's a good one. And okay, now we can even, you know, spell Pierce, we get to play around. Also, um, uh, our opponent, yeah, they. They played that dive down. They wanted to save their Terramander. It was a good dive down. It's unfortunate for us. Yeah, you already put a counter on it. Oh, 
I don't have two white. I don't have two white. I heard you had some dead things Don't that needed hate to stay it dead. dead won't stay dead. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get rid of the Terramander and gain five life, basically. We're doing okay. I mean, we have a flipped ass Kanto and we're at a really high life total. Ooh. Did not kill Kaya. Oh, I have one less mana than I thought. Oh, I, th I thought I was going to be able to... Was that dear to you? Now it's dearly departed. I thought I was going to be able to Thought Razor and Blast. I miscounted one there. We'll just be able to Blast here. Or I, I can just cast down. I should probably keep that that duress to try to protect the Lyra. All right, so let's get one creature and one spell out of here. You're not welcome here anymore. What are your thoughts on an F and M promo card? That's just a proxy checklist card for Nexus of Fate since it's sticking around. Uh, I don't think that would be a very good idea. I mean, just that's just not a a. It's not something that people would go to F&M to try to get or anything. That's just not a, a very valuable commodity or anything. People can't... Yeah, I don't, I don't... I just don't think that's that's worth it. Because um, then you like also have to have the Nexus of Fate 2. No, that, that's not a very good F&M one. Um, no, I, I don't work for SCG anymore, so I won't be on Versus Live anymore. Hey, okay. But streaming here each and every day. Um. Yeah, we can keep this. Instant speed Lyra on turn five. Could be pretty sweet. Cool, thanks Cam. All right, so blue black, uh, you know, could be Esper, could be Grixis. It's most likely Esper. Esper is like just the color combination you see the most. No, Makaya. Well, if Kai could just get up to two target cards from any graveyard, so like we could like exile our Karn plus exile one of their things or something like that. Yeah, Kai has been been pretty good for us. Ugh, cast down. Worst possible draw against Esper Control. Hey, 
we have a new sub here, Well Spoken Ocelot. Getting that Twitch Prime sub up in here. Thank you so much, Well Spoken. Welcome to the channel. Um, might as well just get this underneath the counter spell. Maybe. Maybe I just let them counter the Wrath. No, I'll get that under counter spell. That's sub number two on the day. Uh, I don't know if there'll be another standard Super League. Um, I don't believe I will be a part of it if there is one. No land. Land. Man, if we actually get to cast this, if we get to resolve Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, it will be glorious. We'll get all these things in play. The problem is we have to have a legend, a legendary creature or planeswalker in play, and we have to have seven mana. It's not very likely. Ah, another counter spell after three discard spells. Well, thank you so much, well spoken. Yeah, thanks for using the Twitch Prime sub. Urza's Ruinous Blast is another dead card in this matchup, so that's that is a terrible draw for us. Just doesn't exile. <laughs> like, they just don't even play any non land permanents that aren't legendary. So just dead card, dead card. Yes, yeah, Canta Flip is a real problem. It's going to bury us. If our opponent ever does anything. I I thought that Karn was a was a great draw for us. I you know, I was hoping they didn't have another counter spell, but they did. This is certainly like the kind of deck we wanted them to have more of their like, you know, cast downs and Kai's Wraths and less of their thought erasures and counter magic. Our post board game though gets gets pretty good. You know we're bringing in four duress, four negate, four thief of sanity, and one chromium, uh, thirteen cards. You know, so it's a lot of cards in the sideboard to bring in for this matchup. So we we won't have these other cards that we have in our deck or in our hand here. It is sunny in Virginia. Yeah, I have to like sit over more to the side than like what I normally do that I it's like not very comfortable sitting over here about to do this to block the, the window. Stupid ass Kanta. Just keep up the pace. Sure, just because they have removal spell doesn't mean that Thief of Sanity is not good in the matchup, because they do have to use a removal spell on it. Um, you know, if they don't have, you know, it basically it puts a lot of pressure on them, because if they don't have an answer to Thief, Thief takes over the game completely on its own. But just because they have removal in their deck doesn't mean that your threat isn't good. All right, those two are out for sure. Lyra can come on out. Um, so Vile Offering does kill Teferi, but, you know, we have to have... We have to have our legend in play to be able to play it, but... Vile Offering is a is an amazing card if it you know if it resolves and everything. Hmm, I like Rona. 
I don't know. I kind of like all these cards. I mean, well, I, I don't really like Shalai. Shalai is just four mana, three, four. Like, that's not a very good card. Yeah, I guess I'll take out Vile Offering. I don't need to necessarily kill Teferi. So this is not reliable. If they countered the fairy, they shouldn't be allowed to play their their own. I agree. You counter my Teferi, you can't play your own Teferi. That's not fair. Um Good question. The question is, do you think the legendary spells would be too strong if you only needed any legendary permanent and not a creature or planeswalker? And I take that Mortify so they don't kill my Ascanta. Um, I don't know if they. I don't know. They certainly, they certainly could be. It's possible. Not likely though. I think I think that likely the answer would be no. They would not be too strong. Um, but I, I think they would be a lot closer in the realm of of playability. Um, let's run it back. That one was a lot easier. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite emotes, that GG emote. That's perfect. All right, we're both on seven. My Escanta. I want to have a gate available for like Thought Erasure or something. Oh. That's a little more rough. Take this Absorb. Um. This time they got to fire off the dresses before we did. And they have Thief. Thief's so good. I wonder what card they kept that they didn't want to dress. Thief is just so great against my deck. These legendary decks is just so great. Wow, they took something over to Fairy. Only well, took a negate.
So those four games really are, you know, who has the early disruption plus the first. I can benefit from a you know, like, no just who has that. Suck. Maybe yours. They had duress, duress, thief. The previous game we had duress, thief. That's kind of what it is. Thief's just the best thing to be doing. Maybe I need to keep in the cast downs. Maybe. I haven't really seen a desecrated tomb or a desecrated tomb deck work. Hmm. That's a mulligan. They're keeping their six. We're on the draw. We got a scry. That's a good card to scry to the bottom. It's not a card I want. Where's the blue mana deck? That's not blue mana. That's really not blue mana. This is pretty unfortunate with our 26 land deck. Being on the draw, scry, and then three non-lands. So four, four cards, none of them land. Lamakeld. Well, that was pretty unfortunate for us. All right, certainly won all the negates. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of these. Um. Getting rid of this. And then call it a day. I don't think I want. I don't think I want duresses and thought erasures, because uh, their hand just gets empty kind of fast. It's just too many discard spells. Um, maybe I want like maybe I want to split them up: two duress, two thought erasure. That the two mana discard is kind of expensive for discard, um, and usually what we're taking is a spell anyway. Um, so we're gonna kind of go fifty fifty, going the <coughs> going the coward's way out with playing two of each. Uh, the name of the spell is... I mean, this is the Gaslight Anthem. Uh, the 59 sound. 59 sound. Lazav. Hey, what's up, After Wizard? Yeah, having a good day. You know, we we're, we're here streaming earlier today. Do I want to hold up these negates or just play the Izareth? If I played the Izareth, they could like, you know, Wizard's Lightning, Lightning Strike, kill my things. Then it's like, what are these negates going to really do? But I just have negate available. Oh, previous song? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember what the previous song was. So much for holding up negate. Ha, huh. I knew it'd do something. Good defense. Yeah, here streaming nice and early. 
Um, you know, going noon to seven, so I can go see the Captain Marvel movie tonight. Excited to see that. Um, we ended the stream a little early last night. We ended it like an hour early, so I, I, I got to bed pretty early last night, so I got some good sleep, and so feeling pretty good today. Um, hey, good Getting our third sub after Wizards, gifting out a sub to Puppy. Let's get some hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Santa After Wizard. So, Puppy, now you have access to all 22 emotes, I believe. Hey, Santa After Wizard is back with another gifted sub. Come on, y'all, let's get some hype in the chat. For Santa After Wizard. There we go. Yeah, there you go, T-Brock. You get to use those too. Oh, nice, puppy. Love it. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the emotes. Two, three, four, five, six. Twenty, yeah, 22 emotes. What has gone on with our opponent? Hawkeye, you want to come up here? Yeah, after Wizards gifting some subs. Okay. There you go, good boy. Yeah, that's that's one of the newer emotes that we got uh, that last time that we got like five or six new emotes. That was one of them. Well, the opponent, um, did not do anything. They sh should have attacked with the Steamkin. Like, we should be at 15. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's our emote for whenever people give subs out. The Santa emote. Yeah, no, Jelly, that sounds perfectly reasonable. Take your laptop on vacation to Mexico so you can play Arena. That sounds like a good um, vacation. This opponent's just not doing stuff, Hawkeye. Okay? So we should be at 15 if, if our opponent would play this correctly. They, they play this thing that puts us to 13. They attack for 4 put us down to 11. We play the Izareth that gets to to block the Steamkin. They attack in with everything. The Lazavi eats a Pyromancer. They deal another 3. We're at 8. I don't know. Would have been kind of a close game. I mean, it depends on what they would draw. Oh, Cyanide Bacon. Cancel, cancel, cancel. No! I just noticed that right now. Afterwards, we're giving out another sub. That would have been our fifth sub of the day. We figured out and bought a pack. We'll get one after this. But first, it's time to focus. We are 4 and 1. And that means our opponent is our final boss. So this hand, I'm going to be mulliganing. Um, not a land. All of those spells were legendary sorceries. They required a, a creature, a planeswalker. It's just not, not one that I wanted to keep. Yeah, I, I am going to usually be doing packs at 10. Um, like the very first pack. Today I just did out of five though, but the yeah, packs are going to be, like the first one's going to be ten, but I'm going to pack here. I feel like it. Good start for the opponent. Black mana source. Ugh. I guess I'm just going to shock for Rona. 
Rona can block. Um, Zerta Goblin that was going to deal us two damage anyway. Yeah, next expansion, uh, it's kind of up to you, Catch a Boy, if you should start saving your stuff for the next expansion. Next expansion doesn't come out until the end of April, so you're still looking at like six or seven weeks away. So that's still, a, it's a really long time for the next set still. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily like recommend saving for it, but if, if you already have like the deck that you, you like playing, that you want to play for the next six or seven weeks, you know, you can go ahead and... Yeah, he's been doing pretty good, Skinny. Yeah, have we're out here early. We got a lot of a lot of my favorite decks today. Main deck Harpooner. Dang, didn't even get to Lyra. Aggressive. Um, hand from the opponent. This is a perfect match for Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, getting to Urza's Ruinous Blast is going to be tough, as we saw that last game. Catch a boy! Getting that gifted stuff from After Wizard. More hype in the channel. Would you recommend Mono Blue or Soul Tide to build an arena? Um... I would recommend Sultai. Sultai is, is harder to play, harder to sideboard, all that kind of stuff. Sultai is kind of tough, but I, I think Sultai is just... I mean, I think it's the best deck, so it's the one I would recommend. Which 5-drop am I cutting? I'm cutting a 5-drop. Which one do I want to cut? Uh, Teferi, number 3. Vile Offering, number 2. I guess probably Vile Offering, number 2, since we have more Blasts. We're just going to have to have the Legends. What I need here. Too much Darth Vader. All right, back for game two. Definitely keeping this. So now we got something to do kind of early. Yeah, the main deck. Are, yeah. Harpooner these days is a pretty good card. Um, and even just 2-mana 3-2 can beat down control decks. We were in a really rough spot, because, like, you know, even just, like, Collision Colossus would have destroyed us. Like, we were in just such a rough spot there. Alright. This is an awesome hand. Awesome hand. Um, I think it's the... Yeah, it's got to be the Goblin, right? This thing just kind of hits harder than the other stuff. Could see taking Harpooner. I'm going to take the Goblin. Cinder Vines is, of course, a card I just don't care about at all. I'm really glad they're leading with that. So I want to be able to flash in Wrath on turn four and untap and blast. That's my my best game plan. We need another land for that. There we go. Because Whirler is going to be kind of slow. Like, we have, like, these things to deal with Whirler. Oh, I guess Whirler can... Yeah, I'm just going to wait till end step to flash in Wrath for, like, to be the safest. I could try to eat that, but then Whirler eats our thing. The Goblin, they just, like, you know, play it on turn two, and it, it just hits... It hits for a lot more than the other things do.
Instant speed blast. Get out of here. Man, instant speed, instant speed blast is nice. Now uh, you know what? I'm not done yet. It never gets old. You're right. It just never gets old. Nah. We got this one now. Wow, they really want to kill creatures with flying and enchantments. No time for a break. I face the unwelcome here. Horrors. This is child's play. All right, draw card. Let's skip to the good part. I I maybe should just tick up Dovin and just go towards the ultimate. Oh I didn't I didn't even activate Kaya. Whatever. Um I probably should just tick up Dovin there. Cause you know getting getting these things out whenever we have Yeah, like they have Chain Whirler and we have R Ruinous Blast. I should just tick up the Dovin. Well that one actually got through. hit the road so we'll still have you know I'm just basically casting the cast down um, because uh, we'll be able to untap those lands we'll still have versus ruinous blast available hey skull to mind yeah today we got the early stream <laughs> Yeah, magic magic has a good amount of variance. Um, the more you play, the more you'll kind of see it all, and just be a little used to it. Um, and this be blast was nice. Four one right now with Esper duplicate. Awesome. How have you played against Sultai or or Wilderness Reclamation? Because those are the two decks that I actually have not played against with that deck yet. So I wonder if you if you played against those decks. With War getting all them Planeswalkers, you think there'll be a destroy all Planeswalkers card? No. I could see there being like a red spell that's like deal however many much damage to like creatures and planeswalkers kind of thing i could see that being a thing you know like kind of like a gates of blaze type thing but like creatures and planeswalkers played against sultai won one lost another and then the person conceded okay to the simplicity getting a gifted sub from after wizard santa after wizard in the house tonight i get some Keep that hype going. There we go. Yeah, that is true. Hostage Taker and Krasis are... Or Hostage Taker and Deputy are great for Krasis. Absolutely. Figured Finality would be really rough for the deck, though. Um, you know, like all this stuff dying to Finality kind of thing. Yeah, like Hour of Devastation or Star of Extinction. Yeah, I bet there'll probably be something like that. Hour of Devastation. Just, like, that's a perfect example. Five damage to all creatures and planeswalkers, or it, I guess it's technically and non bolus planeswalkers. Uh, man, I like this hand against this green red deck. I love ca like cast downs, like maybe our best card. 
I kind of want to keep this, honestly. You know, we're a 26 land deck. So basically every draw is 50% to get a land. 53, like 25 out of 53. And then if it misses, 25 out of 52. We basically have to lose two coin flips in a row to not hit our second land drop. So, you know, you're looking at like, it's probably a 26, 27% chance that we don't draw a land. I want to keep this. Oh, it's a terrible draw. Come on, land. Uh, well, we hit that like 26, 27%er. Um, where'd my playlist go? <laughs> Lose three coin flips in a row? Oh, that was like 13 or 14% maybe to not draw a land in the first three. Four coin flips in a row. Statistically losing four coin flips in a row is a 1 in 16 chance, which is 6%. So that was a terrible game. I don't really necessarily regret keeping that, honestly. Because we had just some of our best cards in the matchup. Like, Cast Down is, you know, really a card that we want. Um, you know, we don't have, like, a ton of early stuff. Cast Down is just so good in that matchup. You know, like, basically, you know, we get to kill those three twos, get to, to help out there. Um, oh, that's a good question, After Wizard. I believe it counts as one. I, I believe it just counts as one. Um, I believe just, like, one individual purchase is just is one. Um, um... I don't see anything here written about, you know, what the case is there, but I believe it's one. All right, so yeah, that was a disappointing last game, um, but this deck was pretty sweet, and I think I think adding the Thought Erasures was good. Uh, I think the Thieves Andes in the sideboard were good. Um, honestly, deck's, this deck's pretty competitive. Um, I think I still may be too too high on too high on the top end, but. It doesn't get old going into speeders as ruinous blast. We got to do that a couple of times, and it was just so sweet. Um, so there we go. That's uh, Esper Legend. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Um, we are about 150-ish away uh, from getting to our next 12-hour stream goal over there. Uh, we're doing a 12-hour stream whenever we get to 2,000 YouTube subs. We are doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow, If you're uh, even if you're watching this later. So Thursday from 11 to 11 uh, uh, Eastern time. Um, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream because we hit our first goal with Quip there. All right, so thanks for watching some Esper Legends. Um, 
That's it here. I'll see you for the next video.